Music Box friends, we are very excited that finally Farm Songs Concert Plan is in Music Box. So I just want to give you a little sneak preview if you've ordered um, other concert plans like the Songs of the Sea or the Mountain Plan, you'll be familiar with the kind of format and certainly for everyone in any concert plan that you have if something's missing or there's something special about your particular venue or group of children you just go to forum and click ask Lynn questions and I'm happy to help you with your particular setting so here is just a quick little view um, as with all the music box documents I always print them out in color and I can just go to my local uh, FedEx Kinko's to get them printed in nice color and then I always put them in the sheet protectors and then I have all my lesson plans in a binder so that really just keeps it all organized what type of documents so I print out the concert plan so here it is farm songs and the first thing is just the overview for some of you that have got the concert plans from the past, you already have this type of um, introduction to doing a concert, but I think this will be really, really helpful for new teachers because it really gives you the timeline, plan ahead, and the things to consider, such as if you're using ORF instruments, consider the keys that you're using. Um, would you like a theme? And perhaps using some songs that are very familiar, like the hello and goodbye as part of your concert. So uh, that will give you the timeline and uh, just all kinds of tips on how to get that singing really beautiful and really strong without the children getting so sick of it. So there's all kinds of tips of fun ways to get that repetition, but make it a lot of fun. So the first thing we have is the concert plan for three groups. Now this can be, um, if you have a concert with one class, you could divide them into three, or if you have um, six classes, you could, could have your group be two classes each doing this um, concert plan. And you'll have one master plan that will be for the director. So this is for the teacher to get an overview of where you're headed for each class, what you're doing. And the grid will be for you to very easily see what they're doing at the concert, each group of children. Then it's broken down in the detail, and this is what's really gonna help you with your weekly lesson plans. So you assign the color. You'll have one to be the red, one to be the orange, one to be the pink. And you assign your colors, or you can make them whatever colors you want. And the children will get used to that's their color because in our venue, we put out the tape so they know where to stand and they feel comfortable when they are meeting with those other children, especially in big venues with a lot of classes. That's nice to have for them so they know right where to stand. Or if it's an after school type setting, they know when they come in, they know right where to go if they have a color assigned. So this detail plan will show you week after week what your goals are for that specific uh, for that specific group of children. The thing that I really like to do with our concerts is for all children to learn all songs. But they have something to do, whether it's the motions, um, maybe they're being featured on solos, or they have an unpitched instrument. So you'll see the detail for the specific classes, but again, they will all be learning all of the songs. So here is the detailed plans for another group of children. Here is for a, a third group of children. So again, you can have classes split, or you could have six classes, um, three classes, as, as many as, as you want. If you do not want as much with the unpitched percussion as I have here, very easy for me. Um, and again, I'm happy to assist you if, you if you have any questions about this. But you could take some of that out, and we have all kinds of wonderful ideas for movement. Um, you can just use what we suggest with the other class that was maybe not playing the instruments. Then we have the concert songs as a um, lyric sheet. And this is very helpful for your classroom teachers. Uh, parents really enjoy hearing, uh, seeing 
what the words are from what they're hearing at home. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes our little guys sing kind of their own version of the words. So this is really, parents really enjoy getting the lyric sheet at home. So this is all the songs that are in the show. And then your document that you can make your own changes for your concert program. So this is just a layout that would, would suggest, you know, you put in your own school name and just some different choices for you and then a write-up of each song, just highlighting what our learning objectives were in, in choosing that particular song for our music lessons. The back will highlight the importance of music and how it promotes learning in all areas of early childhood development. So you'll have your concert program for three groups. Then going on will be choices Maybe you're an elementary teacher or you have pre-K or kindergarten students and you would like to include ORF. So this is a concert plan for four groups of children. So if you would like to have them at the ORF, there's all kinds of ideas. Again, you'll have your director's list. You'll have your plan for four groups. You'll have the details for all four groups. So you wouldn't have to have your concert this big if you'd want to add the ORF and only have three groups or two groups, you'll be able to just use the detail plan for each class. And again, for the group including the ORF instruments, we have our lyric sheet, and they will also have their own concert plan that'll highlight all the songs, so you'll have the write-up. And again, it's a, it's a Word document that you can make the changes very easily. And then there are some suggestions for those of you who might want to include a song in Spanish. And La Granja de Mateo is just a wonderful song to add to this theme and they learn their, their colors, um, animals, counting, and that is a document that is in Music Box downloads that's very easy for you to add to this concert. And then if you're in a Christian setting, I suggest this little song called Hush. It's very adorable. Um, it's a great introduction to your concert or to a prayer before you're finishing the concert. Um, so that is also included in the plan. And then here are the visuals for some of the songs. It highlights some solos um, that children can hold up the pictures or certainly you could use puppets as well. So lots of options here for using some fun visuals that will be in the back. And that's the summary of Farm Songs. Again, you know where to go. If you have any questions, just click Forum, ask them questions, and I'll see you in the box.